Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a, an egg crate type lent fire starter. So what we're going to do is we've got a bunch of lent here from the uh, dryer. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to fill all these little egg holes. Some of this stuff has some, looks like some down in it. Someone must have washed their down jacket. You want to get it down in there. I've found that I like these uh, burner, these fire starters a lot better than the uh, mason jar uh, lid ones that I was showing you earlier in a previous video because these uh, you can just tear off tear off a chunk here um, and just take with you just a couple chunks instead of a big O thing one one of these egg these little egg crate dealy bobbers so here we have it we've got our melted candle from goodwill uh, inside here nice and hot and slide this down you're gonna have some leakage obviously and all you do is you just fill it up and you know you're gonna make sure you want to make sure like I have a board here I didn't want it to get soaked through onto my table but um, these burn quite a good length of time uh, long enough to get a, a fire really going here uh, the good thing about the egg crate is the egg crate itself, as opposed to a mason jar lid, uh, you don't have to try and get these things out of the egg crate. It burns right along with it. And I think we're doing pretty good there. Whoop! A little splashage. And... That one was a little weak. All right, looks like we're doing really good there. So, uh, leaked through just a little bit. So once this dries and cools off, these things will be really hard and then you just tear off a chunk and um, use them to start your fire. I really enjoy this version of fire starters and it is, quite easy just get a pot with a candle melted in it you can get candles from goodwill anywhere just people throw away candles all the time and lint everyone has lint from a dryer i just keep a uh, i keep a bag full of it and let's just save your egg crates stuff it in there and you have yourself uh enough fire starters for a while this will last me probably I don't know maybe a month with how many uh, fires uh, I start to cook things and stuff like that outside on my stoves and grills and uh, you want to make sure one one thing to note is you want to make sure that your candle that you get um, is not scented that's uh, uh, unless of course you like scented things uh, we don't really like scented, uh, anything scented. We usually buy unscented soaps and things like that as far as laundry and that. And some of the scented candles can be really strong. So when these are all done and dry, wherever you're keeping them is going to smell of that smell really strong. So uh, I found it best to get unscented candles. And you just put uh, your burner on like halfway and just watch it 
make sure that you don't start boiling it or anything like that. You just want it to melt uh, down into a liquid. And that's it. There you have it. So uh, a little later on, I'll do a video of using one of these to start a fire and um, we'll have an idea, a full idea of how it all goes. Thanks for watching.